Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new C++ project using the Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express Edition. So to begin with I'm going to click on New Project from the menu screen on the Start page. You can also go up to File and New Project and you can also see the keyboard shortcut is Control shift n Now we're going to be working with console applications, so in the Templates section you want to make sure Win32 is selected, and we're going to be using Win32 console application, and then we need to give our project a name. Now when you create a project, the Visual C++ program bundles up all of the files that go with your project together. So I'm going to name this one. We're just going to start with a basic Hello World. And you want to change the location to someplace where you can access your files. So once I've selected a location for my project to be saved, I'm going to click OK. And then we're presented with the Win32 application wizard. So we're going to click Next. And we can see that console application is selected by default. And we want to choose an empty project. This is going to have completely empty. We're going to build everything from scratch. If we use the pre-compiled header, then we have some other stuff that's already in there for us that might be a little more confusing, especially when you're just starting out. So we'll start and build project from, from scratch. So I'm going to click Finish. And once my project has been created, I have a Solution Explorer panel open on the side. Now yours might appear someplace else on the screen, so a little bit about the layout and of the interface. If you don't have a Solution Explorer panel open, you can go to View on the menu, choose Other Windows, and then you can choose the Solution Explorer option. Now if your panels are in other places and you want to keep them in the same location that I'm demonstrating, you can go to Window on the menu and choose Reset Window Layout and that will put everything back to this default layout setting. Now we started with a blank project so we don't have a C++ file in here yet. So in order to add one, you want to make sure that your project name is selected here in the menu. Now if I double click in here, it thinks I want to change the name, but I don't. So just click on the icon here. And then on the menu up here, we have an option for Add New Item. So I'm going to tap that. And we have the different types of items that we can add in here. So we're going to choose a C++ file. And we're going to give it a name, and I'm just going to call mine hello, and it will automatically put in the .cpp extension, or you can type in the .cpp extension. Either one will work fine. And then in here, the location. We don't want to change the location of where our C++ file is being saved to, so just use the default in here. It's going to put it in with the rest of your project files. So then we'll click Add. And you can see that our hello.cpp file has been added here under the source files. And it's also opened in the tab. And it's blank and ready for us to start programming. So I'm just going to start by adding the code in for a standard skeleton for a C++ program. So we start by using include the IO stream, which is short for input output stream and then using namespace standard and we'll look at what impact these have on your application but for right now let's just get the main part of the program in here so we have int main open close parentheses and I'm going to put in a comment here comment starts with two forward slashes comments are ignored by the compiler so these are messages to yourself or maybe other team members that are working so I'm just going to say say hello, and we're going to do a C out, which is short for console out, and we're going to put in a text string that just says 
hello C++. Then I'm going to put in an end line. That's E-N-D-L, not a 1. It looks weird, uh, but it is a, an L, not a 1. And that's to end the line, and it will move the cursor down to another empty line. And the end of our main part of our program, we say return 0, and then we close the curly brace. So this is a standard skeleton of a basic C++ program that should output Hello C++ to our console. So I'm going to save my file. Now we can just go up onto the toolbar and choose the Save button. You can see the keyboard shortcut is Control S. And you can also go to File and Save Hello CPP or save all if you happen to have more than one file open. So I'm just going to save hello CPP. And now I'm going to compile and run it. Now up on the toolbar we have some tools for working with this. If we hit the start debugging or the run button, this little green triangle, it's going to compile it. And we had the console window pop up on the screen really quickly and disappear. Let me run it again so that you can see, watch out for it. So it pops up and display and disappears right away. So what's happening is we need to tell it to pause the console so that it will, the, it will stay open long enough for us to see our screen. And we do that by saying system and then inside parentheses with double quotes, pause. And we end that with a semicolon. So now I'm going to save again. You can see this little asterisk on the tab shows you that it's unsaved. So I'm just going to hit my keyboard shortcut, Control S, and to start debugging it again. And in the console, you'll see it says hello C++, and then press any key to continue. So the system pause line here gives us this press any key to continue. So I'm just going to press any key, and it takes away the console window. So that is the basic steps in creating a simple C++ program using the Visual C++ 2010 Express editor.